Hi, Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Welcome to our video series for parents. Please remember these videos are not intended to replace a visit to your doctor, but rather to help to provide you with some information so you can decide what kind of questions to ask your doctor. We can't help you over the internet, and we can't help you over the telephone. That's not good medical care and not really something ethical for us to try to provide. However, if we can be of assistance, please give us a call here in our office, area code 775-359-7111. Let me preface this by saying, um, sorry about the long hiatus, things have just been kind of crazy around here lately. Uh, and if you haven't recently, check out our website, www.sparks, S-P-A-R-K-S, peds, P-E-D-S, all one word, dot com. We have tons of new content and a whole new layout. Today what we'd like to talk about is undescended testicle in a newborn. And this is a very common event and parents often come to us very concerned in the hospital they couldn't find one of his testicles. Do I need to be concerned? That is the question. The answer is, in a nutshell, probably not. But the full answer is a little more complicated, so we kind of want to look at that. The first thing to notice, or that we as doctors have to ask ourselves is, is it one testicle or both? If it's just one testicle, and the rest of the child's genitalia is normal, then we don't have anything to worry about for the time being. If it's both testicles that we can't palpate, then the next question, if assuming this is a term infant, is are we sure this is a boy? And there are lots of things that have to run through the back of our mind and that we have to consider that's actually a really complicated proposition. We're not going to get into that because that's an unusual scenario. Um, what we really want to talk about is the infant who is otherwise healthy, normal appearing genitalia, but one testicle is not, not palpable. So then the next question is, is it undescended or is it retractile? Meaning, did it disappear up? high into the scrotum and we're just missing it. If it's retractile, it's normal. We don't need to worry about it. And that represents 99% of missing testicles, even in a newborn, and definitely in older kids as well. Um, but retractile testicles are never a problem. We don't worry about them. You shouldn't worry about them. They don't affect fertility. There's no, no cancer problems, nothing. Assuming it's truly undescended and it is unilateral, one side, everything else is normal, then the thing to do is to keep watch on it for the first six months of life. If by six months of age it's still not descended, that then is time to begin to work up this undescended testicle and figure out what the problem is. Is it missing? And if it's just an absent testicle, never developed, we don't need to worry about it. Or is it in fact undescended and stuck somewhere? If that is the case, then that needs to be surgically repaired somewhere between 9 and 12 months of age because that can affect future fertility and increase your cancer risk later. The good news is by 6 months of age, of those few testicles that were truly undescended and not retractile, where we don't worry anyway, um, most have dropped down by 6 months of age. But if it's not by 6 months of age, really need to start working that up and looking further at the situation. So hopefully this kind of provides some relief to a lot of parents who, who whose kids are missing a testicle at birth because uh, the reality is most of them will be there by six months of age and, and most of them are already present they're just retractile anyway and by six months of age they're found and as long as they're found all is good. Uh, I hope this has helped to alleviate some of your concerns and make you feel better. If we can be of assistance here, our uh, telephone number is 775-359-7111. We'll see you next time.